What's going on guys? We're back in Forza Horizon 3 today, continuing on our Let's Play. This is part 17 of our Let's Play. I, it's insane! Anyways, you know how yesterday, if you missed yesterday's Let's Play, check it out. It, it, we had some crazy shit happen in it. Anyways, if you checked out yesterday's Let's Play, I said in that video, today is the last day for the giveaway. Hey, Incorrect. Today is actually the last day for the giveaway, so if you want to check it out, links in the description down below, and, uh, and you can check it out for yourself. So! What is going to be the plan for today's episode? Oh, so between episodes, I went and did a live stream because the brand new DLC pack came out. So I, in, in one of the DLC pack videos, uh, I did some street races and I unlocked a new Midnight Battle versus a Buick uh, Regal, which is pretty cool. That means the, uh, the NSX, the RX-7 is pretty close. I think it might actually be this one. That's the, that's the RX-7 one. So potentially, if we do two more street races in today's video, like... That one looks fairly easy, and I mean, I think then we would need to do more head-to-head -head races. Yeah, we have we have to do seven more head-to-head -head races. Actually, we've got one right there. We can totally do the RX-7 today. Shit, I want to do the RX-7. So we're going up against a Buick, right? I mean, a Buick can't be that fast. So, I mean, we've got our Pagani from last part. We should probably take it over and just see what's up with it, really. I mean, the thing's pretty cool, and I mean, our Pagani's quite quick. And I mean, hey, we'll we'll see how it goes. If it goes really, really badly, then, eh, whatever. We'll jump in one of the other cars. We'll jump in probably the GTA Spano, probably, because that thing was just unbelievable. So, anyways, we'll we'll see what happens. All right, we got some pink slip races. I win. Holy shit, that thing's cool. I will win that. That's really, really cool. I really want to win this thing, but I mean, this race is in the rain. A little scary. I mean, the Pagani's, what, a thousand plus horsepower all to the back wheels. And I mean, in conditions like this, we may have some trouble with it. But I'm just hoping the pure speed and the pure power of this Pagani is enough to let me beat the Buick and take the car home. Holy shit, Pagani. We're also on a pretty difficult difficulty. Actually, oh, a little bit of late braking there. The Buick's gonna go up the inside on me. He's gonna take his first position back. 17% of the way through this race. I need, I need to get out of Surfer's Paradise. If we can get out of Surfer's Paradise and out onto like the highway or something, boy, he is done. There's no way that that car can compete with this. Oh, he's crashed. He crashed into the traffic car. Boys, you know how yesterday I had the best luck? Uh-uh. Today is the best luck. And it looks like we might actually get onto some open road up here. What a turn of events. Once again, that Buick is nowhere to be seen. He wrecked himself out. And I did as well. Where's the Buick? Oh, shit, he's back. The Buick's back in the race. Ooh, this is not good for Mr. Pagani in the wet. I'm not really liking driving this car in the rain. It is a handful and a half, to say the least. I hit that. Nailed it. Good. Power down. Putting the power down in- oh shit, I didn't see that guy. Putting the power down in this car is so difficult. The power is so unusable, it's not even funny. It's like a thousand horsepower and maybe 500 of it is actually usable, I would say. Anyways, Mr. Buick seems to have dropped off the pace once again for this race. And I mean, hopefully, hopefully that will be it. 70% of the way through this race, hopefully there's no off-roading, because off-roading in the, in the rain in the Pagani would just go badly. I don't think so, though. That might be the Buick all the way back there. I think we may have this one. Maybe I spoke too soon. Buick is not back there. Let's milk it to the finish. Don't do anything silly. All right. And we're right here. And across the line. That Buick is mine, man. First attempt at that. The Buick's still not even done. 98%, 99. And there he goes. Nearly seven seconds later. That's crazy. I really wasn't expecting that Buick to be so slow, but it was. Maybe I think we should whip out the, the GTA Spano, uh, my new fastest car I own, I think, and go do some more street races and potentially pick up that RX-7 in today's episode. Oh, that would be crazy. Why, not usually my style, but I'll admit this thing looks pretty cool. Into the garage it, it does. goes. It does look very, very cool. I love that Buick. It's also one hell of a drift car, which I think I might be turning it into. All right, so we we absolutely nailed that. And I mean, we have a street race 
It was down here, yes. And I mean, because the Pagani doesn't have seven gears, and it just tops out real easy, I'm gonna whip out the GTA Spano for that, because if I was to try to drive this, I think I would lose, because I'd probably be up against quite fast stuff. Let's get the GTA, and try this race. Alright, where is my GTA Spano? Oh! I made it stock. Oh, I'm gonna have to toss the upgrades on it again. Oh, all wheel drive this thing. Yes, good. All right, GTA, we just need some race tires. Like, it's such an ugly car. It's probably one of the ugliest cars ever made. But damn, does it drive well. There we go. We've gone and rebuilt the GTA. It's now 1,200 horsepower, which is not bad at all. I mean, we had all these parts on, so it doesn't cost us anything. We just sort of needed to do that. I mean, why am I not X-Class? I thought it was X-Class with this. Auto upgrade? Can okay. this thing- so Oh no, I don't think this thing can be X-Class. Okay, maybe I'm thinking of no a different problem. car then for some you reason. Anyway, there is a street race right here, which is not going to be ideal for the GTA. The GTA is going to be much better at this race. Yes, we're going to need some high top speed for this. And going around corners, but the GTA can do, so this should be perfect. For the other race, though, we can use the Vulcan, probably, which would also work rather well. Alrighty, GTA Spano. Oh, shit, I'm an interior dude. Let's try this. We've got incredible launch in that all-wheel drive, and that's gonna be first place already! The GTA is so fast! I just need to basically, A, not run into top speed- Oh, shit. I'm running into stop top speed problems. Alright, it can do these corners well, though at like 220 miles an hour, but it's not gonna be any 250 mile an hour car, which I have a feeling there are a couple in this race. So I'm gonna need to do a bit of weaving around the track probably, or hope this turns into a city race very quickly. Cause if not, I might be screwed. I can't even see the AI anymore. I, I mean, I could see all their headlights back there, but I mean, we're heading into the city now. Oh, breaking hard, that enormous air brake comes up. Come on. And braking again. Huge air brake. That actually stops us so quickly. I'm actually a huge fan of this car. When I first tested this thing out, I'm like, I hate it. It's ugly. I don't even want to drive it. I didn't even originally include it in the test that I did when I did the Aston Martin versus the Pagani. I didn't even include this thing. And then as it turns out, it's my favorite car. It's just like, shit, it drives so well. It makes up for honestly how ugly it looks. It's just like... So, oh, 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 that's my fault. Oh, shit. Why can you not knock those over? That's so annoying. Those are tiny little pegs. Again, same exact ones. It's like there are some things in this game that I just continuously crash into because I'm like, I look at them and I'm like, yeah, you can crash into those. Why wouldn't you be able to? They're tiny. And then I hit them and I'm like, ah, oh, shit. Oh, shit, that's the end of the race. <laughs> that was so short. Just like that, first place, we destroyed an AI car. Wow, I only won by like a second, actually less than a second I won by because of my massive crashes towards the end of that race thing. That was good, that was solid. Oh, there was another GTA in this race and a Koenigsegg and a, and a Ford GT. Not bad, not bad at all. We're gonna be picking up some big money and some XP. I think we're gonna level up from that. We are indeed. Let's try to get something pretty good. We're nearly level 100. That's huge, that's so awesome. All right, let's spin the wheel. I saw a lot of 50k, but instead, I get a very disappointing 20k. Doubles to 40, so I mean, it's not bad, but still. Since that went so well, and I'm like actually blown away by the performance of this thing, I didn't think this thing was gonna be so competitive, like around the street circuits, but holy shit, it is, it's so fast. We can actually potentially get the RX-7 today. That would be huge. We would finally back, be back on pace with everyone. Because I'm doing this Let's Play, I have to record everything I do, obviously, so it takes a little bit longer for me to get through the story and stuff like that. And I mean, I would finally have the RX-7. I've been wanting it forever. And it's just like, finally, let's do it. I also want the Lambo. The Lambo is so sick and has a crazy wide body kit. Surfer's Terra. We're going against some Vulcans, the new Pagani. Oh shit, this is gonna be some proper competition. That's a Lambo on our side there, Koenigseggs. Oh god, all right, well, let's use that incredible launch again. Go from zero to real quick, real quick, in like two seconds. It's unbelievable, this car. I'm actually 
so blown away by its performance. I love this thing. It feels really good to drive as well. Seriously, if you are like me and you were just saw this thing and you were like, no, I don't want to drive that. Seriously, give it a chance. GTA, we need some, uh, some top speed right here as we, as we head down the monorail tracks. We got to get out of here. Smooth is the most important thing in this game, I've noticed. We got to keep power on, and it's like, I don't know this track. I have no idea where I'm going. I've got to keep looking down at the map, and I'm so scared I'm going to crash into a traffic car when I do. That's the thing. All these midnight races are during midnight, and they're not like proper horizon races. And it means, like, there's traffic on the track and stuff, and you can crash into them so easily or overshoot your corner. But because you have a massive lead and an incredible car, none of the AI will actually overtake you good it's like look at that goodbye guys we're just gone this thing flies move out my way nearly done already again and just like that with a couple corners done that's gonna be another big first place i want to make sure i'm on the hardest difficulty in the game because it doesn't feel like it it's like we're wrecking shops so bad it might be because of this car is just so good but I I really don't know. It's just, it's a good car. 8,000 XP for that? That's actually not that much, but we're so close to level 90. I want to hit 100 so bad. I want, like, the silver badge or the gold badge. Be so cool. Another midnight battle shaping up. Uh, maybe I'll start some midnight mechanic battles. Or midnight car trivia. I could probably win that. <laughs> Thank you, Warren. Let's head down and try to take this RX-7 in another pink slip race. If I can pick up this car, that will be so huge. I wanted this car for so long. This RX-7 is awesome. It's got one hell of a wide body kit. I'm so excited. Midnight battle for our second pink slip race. It's going to be GTA Spano versus Mazda RX-7. I'm finally going to pick it up. I've seen so many other people with it. And I'm just like, I want it so bad. We're finally going to get our hands on it. Provided we can win this race, we don't. I mean, there's probably something wrong with our car, and that that RX-7 would probably have a rocket ship as an engine. But I mean, let's see, we've... Yeah, he's gone. Goodbye! Oh, shit, 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 that's a bit of late braking there. Didn't mean to do that much late braking through there. Oh, shit, the RX-7! Right out of nowhere! Oh, shit, we're going off-road. I really hope his car's rear-wheel drive, because if it is, boy, are we gonna pull again. We get to go all rally driver on the RX-7 here. Through the trees and off-roading some more. I mean, he stuck with us pretty well through there. But still, man. Holy shit, we hit an awkward bump there. The rear of the car got air. That was weird. All right, come on. Oh, shit, the traffic. 50% of the way through this race. We are so close to owning an RX-7. The RX-7 in this game is actually the rarest car in this game. It, I think it is the only car that is obtainable by players and not on the auction house. All right. Well, I've pulled a like a sick 360 there, bro. Look how quickly it catches up to the RX-7. It's just like, oh, hello. We're back again. Even though we decided to do a little ballerina move on you. Um, okay. Well, that's not realistic for an RX-7. That's rear wheel drive. Just saying. It's not possible, Mr. RX-7. 80% okay well he's binned his car I think with that little move right there I think we might have secured it for ourselves we are unbelievably lucky in this game it's seriously so crazy how lucky we get it's just like he's gone it's impossible for him to catch up his rear drive finally caught up with him and he lost it second pink slip race done first place rx7 still nowhere to be seen 98%, 90... Did he crash again? He totally crashed again! Where the hell is the RX-7? 99%, and... 100%. Like, 20 seconds later. I don't even know what happened there, but boy, did we get lucky. That RX-7's now mine. We should actually level up 15,000 credits for that. Thank you very much. And we're gonna get some really decent XP. 10,000 XP... That's gonna make us level 90. We're gonna get a sweet wheel spin. Only 11,000 XP away from leveling up again. I really want that NSX. I don't know which NSX it is, but one of them has a really cool wide body kit. And it's just like, 
I still don't know which one it is. Anyways, there's 50k. Not bad. But more importantly, that's ours. Really didn't want to sign over the pink slip for this thing, did he? Still, you won fair and square. I'll keep it safe for you. Thank you, Warren. I'll show you what I mean how this car is the rarest car in Forza Horizon 3. Here's the thing with the RX-7. We go search, and we go make and model, and we put an RX-7 in there. When I last checked, there were none for sale. 1997 Mazda RX-7, there's none. Even though everybody has the opportunity to win this car, it's still the rarest car in this game. Let's jump in the little RX-7. Oh, I'm so pumped! Oh, wow, they, why'd they take off the wide body parts? It looks so good. We gotta toss all that Rocket Bunny stuff back on, man. Just look at it, though. Wide body RX-7. There we go. Rocket Bunny kit tossed on. Man, we're gonna, we're gonna need to do a proper build of this thing. Uh, maybe in next episode. Alright, where are we? We got, we got put all the way out to Yarra Valley. I'm, I mean, I guess the race finished up here somewhere. So it makes sense. But anyways, we have like... So you guys were telling me when it says new, even though we've done the race, it's a championship. It's like championship race. And you can apparently get some huge fans from those. So I mean, we should probably investigate those. But we've got two PR stunts right here, which I think we should head to. There's also an XP board, which I should probably get. And then that. That PR stunt right there, which is a bucket list. So let's go and do those. Man, I love these headlights. Okay, so the RX-7 is kind of slow, actually. I mean, where it is right now. Like I said, next episode, we'll go and build it up properly, but... Damn, it looks so good! Oh, and it's right-hand drive as well. Man. It's so sick. Oh, you know what? I think these PR stunts that we're going to right now are both off-road. So that's kind of unfortunate. Alright, so let's see. Where are we going? These are 0.5 miles away, both of these things. Uh, where are we going? Oh, is this a speed trap? Oh, it is a speed trap. It's not off-road. Oh, that's good. Shift down, then. Let's try to sit at a pretty decent time here, then. Oh, my game's lagging. Come on. Nearly 100 miles an hour. The RX-7 isn't that fast. I will be honest. I mean, it's fun to drive, and it looks awesome. It's just not that fast. Anyways, I want to keep my speed over 100 miles an hour, because that's probably one of the, like, restrictions or cutouts for, for stars. 104. That wasn't too bad. Oh, there's an XP board up here. Let's grab that. New personal best of- I've honestly never done that. Uh, wow. One star. We earned 100,000 fans for- Oh, it's right there. 100,000 fans for it. And we found a drift zone. What? What do you mean we found a drift zone? Was this a drift zone? Oh, shit, it is. We're, we're not gonna be able to drift that. Look at the- look at the- We're gonna need so much power. Alright, so I want a bit of a run-up for this one. That's why I decided to come this way in the hopes that we can build some speed up in the RX-7 because this thing has basically no power the way it's sitting right now. I mean, I'm hoping that this will help a bit. But I mean, ripping the handbrake at 100 miles an hour should be sufficient to get us some some decent drift score, I hope. Why do we don't have to deal with traffic? It's like, it's so not powerful. I have no idea how much power is in this, but whatever it is, is not enough. We're gonna need to build this thing properly, and I'm very excited for it. I'm so pumped to get in there. I wanna get 40k. There we go. There's 40k. And the cut line! That should be, hopefully, one star at least. If not, boy! Am I gonna be disappointed? It's a new personal best. I've never done that one before. One, two, two stars! Oh! Boy, well, that worked out well. Uh, fast travel board right here. Thank you very much. Ooh. I crashed into some wood. And I mean, we picked up another 100,000 fans on that one, so we're gonna be able to expand another festival pretty soon. I mean, hopefully. I mean, we're, we're getting close to the end of this game. I'm super pumped. They're playing really good music in the background. I probably can't include it, as per always, but... Oh my god, the soundtrack for this game. Unreal. Race to the danger sign and smash the target distance. Really? You want me to jump the race car? We have to hit 500 feet in this thing. All right, we can do that, I think. I love this time of day as well. This time of day right now is so sick. It looks so pretty, this game. 500 feet shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, we're going 160 miles an hour. It shouldn't be a problem, but oh shit, we might hit the tree. We might hit the tree. Oh, we jumped over the tree. Holy shit, 740 feet. I think that's actually a personal best. 2,000 credits for that. 
And XP wise, gonna be 1,800. We're not gonna level up, but boy, we are gonna get close. There is another 100,000 fans. We're 600,000 fans away from expanding our festival. That's awesome. And I know I promised this a really long time ago. I said a while ago we would try to do a barn find an episode, and I completely forgot about me saying that. And one of the view one of one of you guys were like, hey, uh, you totally said this. I was like, oh shit, I did. So I just want to go wrap this episode up with with one of these barn finds real quick. Oh, look at that RX-7. It's like a boathouse, this one. That's really cool. What's gonna be in here then? It's gonna be a boat style car, maybe something big to tow a boat. That would make a lot of sense. Shall we? It's not really a boat tower. It's a Holden Monaro GTS 350, 5.7 liter V8, circa 1973. Sorry, it's just this is an emotional moment for an Australian. God damn it, Warren. Warren's always a funny guy. Anyways, guys, I am gonna wrap the episode up there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe down below. Check out the giveaway, like I said, in the comments description down below. Last day to enter is today. Just make sure you get on that. Subscribe, like the video, smash that like button, share it with your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!